friends, welcome back to Catholic Connection. And I'm so delighted today to have Della with me. Della is from an amazing business called Della Madonna Rosaries. Hi, Della. Thank you for joining me today. Hi, Jude. How are you doing? Terrific, terrific. And I'm so excited to, to share you with my viewers as I love to bring on wonderful Catholic businesses and uh, take a little opportunity to get to know who you are and a little bit about the origins of your business. Can you, you open up and just tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, thank you. I really appreciate being invited on. Um, well, my name is Della Radaha and I have DellaMadonna.com. And <clears throat> DellaMadonna.com is a rosary, Catholic jewelry, designs website. Um, I started off when I grew up in a Catholic home and um, my mom was really active. She ran the gift shop and and was in with the, the convent nuns and <laughs> uh, we were, she had us kids making mission beads like crazy. And so probably around the time of seven and eight years old, we were making those by the bag full. So, you know, I had a little bit of experience in making rosaries and that designed those those knotted rosaries. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of the background of why this kind of came to be. That's um, beautiful. So at a very young age, you were already creating <laughs> rosaries. And did you, you said that this was um, something that your mother was involved in with a specific order of sisters? You know, because I was so young, I don't remember the order, but I remember okay. my teachers. I mean, like they were the instructors at our at our school, but um, mm -hmm. they were really great ladies. You know, I got to hang out in the convent a little bit with them, and it was kind of fun. So Wonderful. they were a very good impression on me. Um, but you know, that kind of like that was for a period of time, and um, so my in my day job. <laughs> Um, I am a corporate tax accountant, and so that can be really stressful, and I was in a period of time a few years back that was very stressful. The firm that I had gone, to, that I worked for, had gone through a merger that was tough, um, and that was probably around the year, I think it was around 2015, 2016, that was pretty challenging, and then in 2016, um, St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, was going to be coronated. And that was coming up and, you know, in like September time frame. And um, through the summer, I'm like, you know, I really just feel compelled to make a rosary to honor her and for myself. And so I had decided to do that, but um, I needed some practice. You know, I was going to use a different style of, of uh, wiring it and so on. And I needed to learn how to do those things. And so I probably made about 30 rosaries before I did, made this one in her honor. And so, um, and so then I really didn't need 30 rosaries of my own. <laughs> right. And I found, because I, you know, I just couldn't shut off my day job, the list of things, you know, you're just thinking about, oh, I need to take care of this and that. Um, at night, I just couldn't settle down. And so when I made these, when I started making these, that became a way for me to like unplug from work. You're working with, with your hands. It's very tangible. You have to pay attention to what you're doing and you have to kind of put that day aside to do it. I've brought me so much comfort. Mm. And so I didn't want to stop doing it. You know, I really became fascinated by um, the combinations of things that I could do, you know, learning of symbolism in the metals was fascinating to me. I still love that. Um, and learning about the saints and stuff. So beautiful. So, yeah, that's kind of how it all kind of came to be. So, you know, St. Teresa of Calcutta, she, um, she was kind of an intercessor for you. She, um, she, created that that mission that was obviously placed in your heart as a young child but use 
use that to to call you to a different mission and outlet, like you said, for your stress. But what you create is beautiful. So I want everyone, I pulled up your website here, and I want everyone to go to your site. I'll link all your links down below and just see how unique your pieces are, just beautiful pieces. And I want to start out by saying that Della has been so generous with us. She's offered to my viewers a special coupon code, Jude15, I'll put it below, and that will enable you to get 15% off through the month of October because month of October, the month of the rosary. So oh, that's beautiful. So thank you so much for that added gift for us to use. So I'm so excited to show, and I will actually link below, this beautiful Marian poll that I won. I won this from you. I had entered a giveaway, a Marian giveaway on Instagram, and I was overjoyed to receive this. Can you describe this for our viewers? Yeah, it has, um, it has Our Lady on the bottom in a bronze medal and a little um, keychain loop, kind of like a clip that can go either on a keychain, it could be a purse pull, um, and it it has the three beads on there for three Hail Mary prayer. And it comes with a prayer card to go with it. Um, so I've been having a little bit of fun making these prayer cards for the little different chaplets that I've been working on lately. Um, that's kind of a fun and challenging thing for me to do. Oh, I just love <laughs> This one has that. The pink morganite beads on it. Mm, look at how beautiful it, they are. Now, and it also into... comes in blue and purple. Okay, so there are other colors available. You'll see that mm -hmm. offered on the on the site, but that is just absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful. It's really handy whenever you just are like in the car. Like when you mm -hmm. get somewhere, usually, you know, just like before you go in to mm -hmm. work or um, mm -hmm. the end of your day or whatever, you can just have it handy and with you and it's a beautiful tribute. Yes, it really is. And I know there are people that I just, they, you know, being so overwhelmed, as you were saying, you know, with your career, if you're just a busy mom and a busy person, sometimes you don't have time for a whole decade. But um, you always have time, at least for a few Hail Marys, and um, just to know that Our Lady and remind ourselves that Our Lady is always with us. She has wrapped her mantle around us each and every moment of each and every day. So that's beautiful, wonderful. So what else do you have to show us today, Della? Well, I brought a couple. Um, I wanted to show you first this one that's a Joan of Arc themed rosary. And it is rose quartz. So I think you can see there. And then it has um, the rosary center has the um, cross of Lorraine cross on it, which was associated with her. The crucifix or the cross also has that cross of Lorraine with the thistles on it. And then, um, then there's a side medal. So most of my rosaries will have a side medal. <clears throat> and this one has Joan of Arc on it and it's two-sided. see if I can show it a little better. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So unique, and you, I, again, this is a rose quartz beading. Yeah, and so you can kind of see how big it is in my hand. Mm -hmm. This is an eight millimeter rosary. Most of my rosaries are eight millimeter, but I do make some that are smaller, the six millimeter size, and some that are 10 mm. or larger. The six are good for the children. Mm. I just love that. I love that design. I haven't seen a rosary like that, Della, that, that has the two separate, yes, it has the Joan of Arc that, and then of course it comes down uh, with the cross. This Very is neat. so tricky because I, had, my husband had had gone to 
our we've been to Europe two times. So the first time it was a long time ago, like 25 or 30 years ago. Um, we were in France and I picked up in an antique store a rosary that had this side metal on it like this. Mm. And um, so I have looked and looked, you know, and in the process of looking, I found so many other unique rosary and chaplet designs, but not this exact style. Um, but I was excited when I saw the movie Fatima that the little um, the little girl in there, she had, because I'm, I'm nervous on the video, um, she had one that had this side metal style in her hand. So um, I wanted to do that style. I really liked that style because so. then it gives you a third metal to contemplate with depending on, you know, like whatever the theme of that rosary was. Absolutely. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that one's really popular. Um, and this one is too. Um, this is a Padre Pio rosary. And so um, it's made in um, Picasso gray jasper. Mm -hmm. And um, I just pick, you know, I try to pick colors of the gemstone beads to be similar, some kind of a connection to that particular person or imagery of Mary or Jesus, whatever that is. I try to pick colors that are symbolic of that. And so we use the gray here with him just because of the colors of his, um, his robe. Um, mm -hmm. But also it has uh, red jasper beads and the, has the patter beads to mm -hmm. signify his stigmatas. Mm -hmm. It has the Sacred Heart of Jesus Rosary Center here. And on the back of this is um, well, imagery of Lourdes, which he had a close connection with. The detail then, is amazing. That's what I loved about your pieces. So detailed, yeah. so um, so just very, very rich in tradition and symbolism. Yeah, Gorgeous. and so then there's, yeah, this one has him on the side. Um, now there is a new, a new finding Padre Pio medals was pretty tough. There's a new one out there. So now I'm going to probably offer it with both of the side medals. But um, this one's a popular one for the fellows. And um, I'm excited on this one because now we've got a new movie coming out about him. Wonderful. And um, yes. his feast so, day is the 23rd of September. So it's coming up. Oh, is it that day? Because I've been I've been meaning to look, and then I get squirreled away and forget to go look it up. So that's close. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I'm I'm excited. You know, like I find myself kind of diving into particular saints, like maybe one or two per year, and um, he's the one I'm kind of doing a deep dive on right now. Mm. So. so rich, isn't it? I mean, our faith is so rich. So much inspiration to be gathered from them and all of these stories and rich heritage that we have. I really, it's fascinating. Yes, it is fascinating. You know. And it's beautiful how you incorporated like the stigma of the red beads and the different size beads, the different size and shape. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to show us an Our Lady of the Lilies rosary. So this one was. Um, you know, this is a large bead rosary, it's, so it's 10 millimeters, and you can kind of see how big it is in my hand here. It stretches out pretty good size. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I like to say that this one feels so good, you could just hug it. Oh. I mean, it really does. Every time I make this size, mm -hmm. I just love the weight of it. It's The others have a great weight, but this one's more. Mm -hmm. um, it's made in blue adventuring, and I'm sorry, my lighting could be better. <laughs> It has a lily rosary center. Mm. Let's see if I can get that better. It has a lily inspired crucifix. Mm. So you can see on the tips, there's lilies on that. This is nice weight crucifix. And then the side metal is just to die for. It's Our Lady surrounded by lilies. And it's just so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And does it have another a design on the other side too? I noticed a lot of your pieces are two sided in. It, this one doesn't. It, it, I mean, it has a little space mm -hmm. for engraving. Mm -hmm. um, 
So if somebody wanted to have them engraved, they could. Yes, right. That could be an added added um, uniqueness that you would do, uh, giving that to uh, to someone as a gift. Remember out there, these make beautiful gifts. Let's do that. Let's yeah. And, and the metals are the metals are true bronze, so mm -hmm. they can be engraved. Mm -hmm. um, I would say if somebody wants to have engraved, you probably have to have somebody engrave them who does the engraving freehand. Mm -hmm. Because um, otherwise they have to have specific machines that fit each type of thing, which is something to track down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, right, right. Yes, you you would certainly want to go to somebody it's, that's uh, very specialized in that as well. You have many items that are best sellers. Almost every item that you have on your website is a best seller. And I can certainly see why. So you have a well, there's a lot of new ones that haven't gotten to that status. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're, you're constantly, as a creator, you're constantly thinking you're inspired, your prayer life, you're touched yeah. with those moments of grace that you, you're thinking about your next design piece, rosary, or jewelry. So the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, uh, anything with a chaplet, as people know that know me, I just love the chapel. Yeah. I'm very devoted to that. And this so, one, in, so this was during my deep dive into St. Faustina, uh, right? Faustina. And I think that's where we all got that, right? Yes. Um, yes. So I did a chaplet of divine mercy. This one is, you know, if you think about the image of the divine mercy of Christ and you see him with the rays coming out, and you see it's all white on one side and it's red and blue into the other side. It's just beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the beads that I selected on this one, this one's an eight millimeter. It has red lightning agate. Mm. So it has that kind of, you know, to bring out the red in that imagery and then blue rainbow moonstone. So you're not gonna see that in this right here, but mm -hmm. if you were to take this outside, it flashes blue and so, um, it really picks up those elements of the divine mercy. And then with the beautiful rosary center that shows, let's see if I can get it a little bit better. Shows Christ's image right there. Yes, we can see. Oh, beautiful. Yes, the divine mercy. And yes. then the crucifix has rays coming out of the back of it to kind of go with that same theme. Mm. Mm. And then the side metal on this is side metal with the sacred heart. Mmm, gorgeous. Now, in your description, a lot of the pieces that you create, it says vintage. So are some of the pieces that you use and incorporate in to make those items, they are vintage? They're vintage reproductions. And so how the they're, they're acquired from a company, one of two companies here in the United States that um, They'll take a antique vintage metal um, and then they'll cast it using a lost wax method. I would love to go and see how that's done, but they keep it really close to the heart. <laughs> mm. um, oh, I would just love to go. Oh, that would be and, like on a on a how it's made tour, right? Mm. Um, mm. So they use a lost wax method to create these, and so they cast them off of antiques and they make them as replicas. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. And it, it really does have that look. All of your pieces have that look of uh, vintage items. So unique. So uh, almost timeless pieces. You know, you can, you can think about those pieces, maybe someone praying with Hundreds of years ago, they have that, I hope, that look. I hope that yeah. they do. You know, I make them with the intention that they could be passed on as heirlooms mm -hmm. from one generation to the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, okay. you know, like, I I received things like that from my mother and grandmother and and uh, one of my grandfathers, and they're just, they're really special. Mm. So special. Because yeah. they're passing on that gift of faith, you can imagine them, I know, with my grandmother, who was so, so instrumental in planting the seeds for me, and just 
how she held her rosary many, many times. I found her asleep with her rosary in her hand. And I always sleep with a rosary under my pillow. And I just do that because I like to reach out and I like to just, you know, in those times that you just wake up and you're thinking about a million things and you need the peace to come over you. And it does. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mother Mary always is so close. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your final item you wanted to show us. Um, you have a nativity Catholic bracelet. Yeah, this one is, um, it's a one decade bracelet and it's made with a, a really pretty orangey sunstone bead and it has little gray with blue flashing labradite between them and the metal is just so pretty. It has mm -hmm. the image of the nativity on it and so it can be sized, you know, I just adjust the beading a little bit to get different sizes mm -hmm. and it has a really pretty hook clasp on it. Mm. I don't know if we can see it there, but it's really delicate. It's a really beautiful mm. tribute to have around the holidays. Mm -hmm. so. Now, when you mentioned about the sizing, so if somebody out there is wondering, maybe they have small wrists, like I have very mm -hmm. small wrists. And, um, you know. So, yeah, like from like five and a half inches, I've had people ask me for up to like 10 and a half inches. You mm -hmm. would think that wrists are pretty consistent. They're not. They, mm -hmm. they really are the range. So we just make sure we have somebody to take a snug measurement of the wrist and then I'll adjust it like a half an inch to three quarters of an inch looser so that it'll float on your wrist nicely. So remember that everyone, when you're going to order these pieces, reach out to Della and let her know so she, as she creates them, you know, she can create a custom piece designed for you because that's one thing. We have a beautiful piece of jewelry and then, you know, if it's oversized, we had have a chance of losing that. We don't want to do that. So. Oh, right. Yeah. I, on the, especially on the bracelets, because sometimes people will, will send me the wrist size of what they want it to be. Mm -hmm. at the end product versus what their wrist size was. So I always go back and double check. Um, when, it, when it arrives that it fit well because I'll just have them send it back up and we'll get it fixed and adjusted. Terrific, terrific. Because you want to have a gift that that works. Yes. For this usually is a gift and so that's why um, I, I would say in my shop you'll see I have things that are priced from like $29 up mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of price points. There's a lot of different kinds of Catholic gifts that you could find in there for people or self-gifting. Right, right. Oh, quite an array. As a matter of fact, I'm just looking at the site now and, you know, there's necklaces, all kinds of different jewelry pieces, bracelets, and just gorgeous items. And um, I know you're going to be pleased. And, and Della being so gracious with the fact that she is offering us this 15% off. That is such a wonderful way to pick up a piece that's very, very unique and well-made, well-made. And it's something, as she mentioned, that can be an heirloom piece, something that's passed on. Della, with uh, the remaining couple of minutes, I was going to ask you a couple of questions that okay. I would like to ask our guests here. And... Um, how about this one? What are some of your favorite devotions? Um, I pretty much stick with the uh, a decade rosary. I keep it with me always. And it's just a little um, one of Mary. So this one gets a lot of use. It's with me all the time. And that's just what calms me down. It makes me feel connected and Beautiful. So That's it. can we see that up a, a little closer? Sure. Oh, beautiful. So and yeah. It has blue beads. I usually end up with the blue blue. And you know, like out of all the things I've made, I, I've made three things for myself. 
I made myself the Mother Teresa rosary. I had this one, and this last week I made something that had a side medal on it for Catherine Saint Catherine Le Labour. Oh. Say her name wrong, because I found when, uh, my mom passed last year, and in her thing she had a relic of her. And so I'm like, okay, that'll be like my connection with her, with my mom. Wonderful. So wonderful. Powerful. Yeah. Powerful. As you said, um, we we that is a, that is grace. Those little moments, those are gifts from heaven to us that we know that our loved ones, you know, have mm -hmm. passed on to us this and you beautifully. Are, are passing on that tradition for anybody who is watching out there. How about your go-to saint? Well, I would have to say it's going to be St. Teresa of Calcutta mm. because of her inspiration in here. Um, but I get so caught up in some of the other ones as I study them, like mm. St. Faustina, St. Teresa of Avila is one that I've spent a lot of time studying and and now it's Padre Pio, so. Mm. <laughs> but it's always going to be Mother Teresa. Yes, yes. Yeah, she has certainly been a inspiration for us when we think about carrying on in difficult moments and spreading that kindness, spreading that love in little ways within our and home, within our families. Mm -hmm. And then we go out to to do that mission wherever we are called to do mm -hmm. and that's beautiful beautiful so i'm going to link below all of your links your website your etsy shop your instagram pinterest facebook pages so viewers go out there to della's beautiful business and you too will keep your eyes on something that you might want to gift someone or you might put a suggestion in as we're going to in a couple of months we're going to be going into the gift giving season with christmas so this is just wonderful i thank you so much della for coming thank you your business to us you've been amazing and um we want to support amazing businesses like yourself. So God bless and have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank Blessings you. to you.